Here is another nice dead elm. Memorize this bark, this type of tree in the right place with the right moisture could produce a lot of mushrooms, but there is a lot of bark off of it. You see when you go halfway up the tree, there's a lot of barren tree trunk there. So it could have done more. I found a few small grays under it. I'll go over here real quickly. Memorize this bark. This is the kind of tree that can produce a lot of mushrooms. Here's a smaller elm. Uh, still has quite a bit of bark left on it. It's a little ways up, most of the bark is gone, but on up is some bark. Pretty nice ones. There's the bark. Two elms side by side produced a few mushrooms. Here's the other one. See the bark splitting. Always be sure to check under elm stumps. Here is another nice dead elm with got a few mushrooms under it. Give you a good view of this bark. This is a really nice dead elm, and I've got uh, several, I think, in all this thick stuff. I've been looking at it and seeing them. Here's a nice dead elm. No mushrooms under it. Those leaves are from an adjacent uh, birch tree over here. I guess I should tell you that not every dead elm produces mushrooms. You probably already knew that anyway. You just keep looking, keep checking. Got a little cluster of uh, small elm, dead elms here with a few mushrooms under it. Good job God. Eight or nine inch morale here. Dead elm in the background.